Right now, arguably the hottest topic on the CSGO subreddit is about the next operation. Every update in the past month has had hundreds of posts disappointed or raging that the new set of missions aren't in the game yet. But what good is this really doing? First, I can understand some of the fuss for the new operation. For many, they give new excitement and reason to play. Completionists usually have a great time darting through all the missions, and new skins are introduced for those really interested. Opening the mission book and looking at new maps for the first time is like Christmas Day, and this creates a lot of love for these updates, but I believe what is happening right now isn't healthy. I don't want to kill the party, but I don't want to ignore the elephant in the room. Bloodhound was a bore for many, and there is no sign that a future operation will be any different. Valve, though sometimes listening to the community, doesn't always directly take the request first. The bomb timers and initial R8 revolver are able to showcase this well. And us assuming that the next operation will be the biggest and best thing yet is a dangerous path to go down. Already a large amount of expectation is set up for the game mode, but we have almost no idea what it will be like. I just don't want to pretend that it will be the best one yet. Valve has done a lot of great things with Counter-Strike, but they aren't perfect. Secondly, it may literally be better for you if you expect the next operation to suck. An MRI study from the University College of London came to the conclusion that lower expectations lead to more happiness. I won't go into most of the psychological aspects of why this is, but a brief way to think of it is that if you think something will suck, you will either be right or you will be pleasantly surprised. We put a lot of expectations on updates continually, which is setting us up for disappointment. Counter-Strike historically is mostly made up of updates Just polishing the game, not drastically game. changing it. Yet many are disappointed every time updates aren't massive. If we preemptively think that the next update will be tiny, we won't be disappointed. We'll either be correct or surprised. A lot of the community is in a constant cycle of expecting and then being let down. And right now, it's as intense as it ever has been. It may be difficult, but changing our predictions can drastically change our emotions with every update. I don't want to sound overly cynical, but many quickly get bored of operations. After a week, more people will be queuing for Dust 2 than all the new maps combined. If the new operation is anything like before, most of the people will be playing new missions not because they're fun, but because they want the gold coin. This is the thing that everyone has been hyping for weeks and weeks to come. We need to stop and realize what our reactions will be ahead of time. It can only help us in the future. Operations can be fun and add new reasons to play Counter-Strike, but the current hype isn't healthy. We will literally be happier if we lower our current expectations and predictions for the next operation. It may be difficult to change them, but it's the first step to having a better time with Counter-Strike.